Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've covered a lot of launches from a lot of different space agencies like NASA, SpaceX, ESA, Roscosmos, India's moon landing last year. But I don't think I've ever really covered Blue Origin. And some exciting things are on the horizon for Blue Origin and its new rocket, New Glenn, which is designed to compete with SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket in the whole reusable rocket space front. So for today's video, let's take a look at Blue Origin for the first time, its program, the money they're spending, and whether or not it will be a viable competitor with SpaceX. So recently, Blue Origin announced that their rocket, the New Glenn, is ready for liftoff. The New Glenn rocket is enormous, as tall as a 32-story building, and designed to repeatedly haul satellites and other cargo into space. With a reusable booster, New Glenn is now standing at Blue Origin's launch site at Cape Canaveral and is expected to fly as of this recording in the next few weeks or even days. Blue Origin claims that the first stage of New Glenn, named after the astronaut John Glenn, is capable of a minimum of 25 flights. And its payload fairing is much roomier than the standard payload fairing. It's about 7 meters in diameter, or about 23 feet, compared to the standard 5 meters, or about 16 feet. The vehicle is powered by seven powerful liquid oxygen, liquefied natural gas, or LNG, fueled oxygen-rich staged combustion engines. Each BE-4 engine is reusable and generates 550,000 pounds of thrust at sea level with deep throttle capability. Blue Origin claims that LNG fuel is higher performing and cleaner burning than most traditional kerosene burning engines, thereby improving engine reusability and requiring less total fuel for the same performance. They claim that by operating like a commercial airliner, but with cleaner fuel, New Glenn will lead to significantly less waste and cost. And they also say that full rate production at Blue Origin's manufacturing facilities in Kent, Washington and Huntsville, Alabama ends America's reliance on Russian rocket engine technology. Now, while SpaceX has launched over 100 flights and nearly 6,000 satellites, Blue Origin has noticeably not launched a single thing into orbit. Though it has ferried small groups of celebrities and wealthy passengers on brief trips to the edge of space. But Blue Origin has had a limited commercial effect so far, despite the company being founded nearly two decades ago. And Chad Anderson at Space Capital said that the only reason we are taking Blue Origin more seriously is because Bezos is bankrolling it. He said that they have spent a ridiculous amount of money, by his estimate, $14 billion. But it appears that now is the time that Jeff Bezos is really focusing on Blue Origin. Apparently growing up inspired by NASA's Apollo missions, he has talked about moving humanity to space since at least high school. He said on a podcast last year, I would love to see a trillion humans living in the solar system. The only way to get to that vision is with giant space stations. People would visit Earth the same way you might go to Yellowstone National Park for a vacation. He also said that the primary reason that he stepped down as chief executive at Amazon was to focus on Blue Origin and add a sense of urgency and speed to its operations. Mr. Bezos put on a flight suit and joined the crew on Blue Origin's first suborbital passenger flight in 2021. And last year, he moved to Miami in part, he said, to be closer to Cape Canaveral. Blue Origin has historically been tight-lipped on its products, but now it's thought that Blue Origin is trying trying to signal the FAA through a series of recent press releases to please hurry up and complete all your paperwork necessary for launch activities. A recent press release from Blue Origin stated that New Glenn was on track for a launch this year and stated that the Blue Ring payload is ready. But as of this recording, there is no public launch date. But the hot fire test on the launch pad was originally scheduled for November 2024, and it has been delayed multiple times. New Glenn was originally scheduled to debut in 2020, but 
clearly that did not happen. So Jeff Bezos hired a new chief executive for the company a little more than a year ago. Dave Limp, an executive from Amazon, was given the mandate to change Blue Origin's slower moving culture to be more nimble and urgent and was told to launch New Glenn by the end of 2024. And truthfully, it seems like it's time. I mean, there are only so many engineering questions you can answer through ground tests. Real test for any rocket is to go and fly the vehicle. Blue Origin has already had good data on the performance of its BE-4 engines, four of which performed excellently on two launches of the United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. And historically, half of rocket launch failures are due to a problem with the rocket's propulsion. However, a million things can go wrong during a launch debut. It can only take one problem for a vehicle to be lost. With such a large rocket integrating so many new components and software programs, there could well be hidden problems only discovered in flight. So at some point, you gotta fly. Additionally, Blue Origin needs to fly its new Glenn rocket in order to identify where its vehicle has margin. Sources have indicated that the payload capacity of the current iteration of New Glenn is closer to 25 metric tons than its advertised mass of 45 tons. This is not uncommon for a new launch vehicle, and the company will be able to use real-world performance data to refine the vehicle's hardware and software for future flights. Still, those improvements can only be made after the vehicle launches, when data can be collected and analyzed. And there are other pressures on the rocket company to get moving. There is some talk about canceling NASA's Space Launch System rocket, a very large but expensive booster that is part of the agency's plan to return humans to the moon. Therefore, officials are interested to see whether Blue Origin can deliver a privately developed heavy lift rocket in New Glenn to increase the space agency's options for getting astronauts to the lunar surface. Some sources have indicated that these officials would very much like Blue Origin to play a major role in the lunar return. But before that can happen, the company needs to demonstrate that New Glenn can fly. So I think you guys are kind of seeing the pattern here. It's like, it's time, Jeff. So I will keep an eye on the story. I really didn't know very much about Blue Origin, aside from the time that William Shatner went up on one of those short trips with Jeff Bezos and was like super shook when he came back. So all of this is new information for me, but I'm happy to see another entry into the commercial space market. The rockets look cool, the engines look cool, so... We'll see. But let me know what you guys think. Are you excited to see Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket launch? Or do you think Blue Origin is just way too far behind SpaceX to really ever be a viable competitor? Or do we even care? Is it just like, yay, more rockets for everyone? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Six, five, four, command and start.